So far we have entered text, numbers, dates, and times in the cells. We actually can also enter formulas. And in this video, we will get an introduction to formula and how we can create calculations in Excel. Let's say we want to calculate the total number of hours worked by all the employees on 31st of December. So that means these values, we would like to get a sum or we would like to add the values in this column from row two to row nine. Let's start with a simple formula. I'm going to click here and type equals six plus three plus four plus two plus five plus six plus seven plus four. So now I have typed in all the eight values here and I'm going to hit enter. And now I can see the result of that calculation, which is 37. Excel has calculated or executed the formula and it displays the result on screen and the formula is stored in the cell and we can look at the formula bar here where we see the formula whereas the result of that formula is displayed on screen. If you look at the formula closely we have an equals sign and the equals sign tells Excel that this is a formula and it needs to calculate. If you don't put an equal sign, Excel will assume that this is text. So equal sign is what indicates to Excel that it is a formula and that it should calculate. And we have used the operator plus here to add the values. And there are other operators that like such as minus. Now let's type another formula here in cell ND3 here i'm going to type equals and instead of typing in the value six plus three plus four i'm going to use my mouse here and then click on the cell here and then type plus and then click on this cell here plus click on this plus click on this plus and as i complete the formula here by using the mouse here and then typing the plus. Now we have selected all the eight cells here and we have used the operator plus to add them. And now I can type enter. And now the result of that formula also is 37. And the difference between the two formulas here are in the first one, we actually typed in the actual value here we actually only pointed to the cell where the value is, but the result is the same. And the second, in the second formula, we are using cell references. And you can see in the formula bar, it says equals the cell reference NB2 plus NB3 and on so on. And here the arguments to this formula are cell references whereas the arguments in the first formula here are just numeric values that we typed in. Now let's say one of the employees, let's say Anjali, did not work four hours on 31st December. She actually worked only two hours. So I'm going to click here and then type two instead of four and hit enter. And what you notice here is that the first formula is still resulting in the same value of 37, whereas the second one now shows 35. And that is the right number. And that's because we have reduced the number of hours Anjali worked by two, and this formula automatically updates, and this formula did not. And that's pretty obvious. This is a cell reference versus this is a hard-coded value here. It will never change. It will always be 37, whereas this formula depends on what values are in these cells. This is a very, very, very important fundamental concept of how Excel works. 
because we are pointing to cell references, this formula is dynamic, meaning it automatically updates when these input values change. This feature or this concept gives immense power to Excel, and we will see more of this in the future, but you have to, the, the key takeaway for us now is that you should always use cell references as much as possible and not have hard-coded values because this gives you more flexibility, this saves you a lot of time, it also is going to be more accurate. Now we have seen two methods of entering the formulas and in the second method we use a cell reference. The cell reference we use the mouse to select the cells, we can also use the keyboard. So I can type in equals NB2 plus, and immediately you can see that this cell has been selected as NB2 here, and NB3 plus, and you can see again, there's a border around cell NB3. So anytime when you're selecting a cell as an input to a formula, Excel will draw a border and with different colors so that you can see the blue color is NB2 here, green is NB3, and purple is NB4. So Excel helps us to easily identify what cells are inputs to this formula and you can type in more and so that you can get the same result if you type in the cell references for all these other cells as well. But I'm going to hit escape because I'm pretty sure this concept is pretty straightforward. I'm going to hit escape and cancel out of that. Now we have seen plus used as an operator to add the values. We can also use other operators. Let's say, for example, we want to look at the difference between these two values. I'm going to type in equals, and I'm going to click on cell ND2 minus ND3, hit enter. Again, the operator is different, but otherwise the formula is written very similarly. And we have 37 minus 35, that is two. And let's say, for example, Anjali actually worked 34 hours instead of two and we were wrong. So I'm going to type in back four and hit enter. And now both formulas are the same. And importantly, zero is the result. So since we use cell references here, it automatically updates and gives us the correct information.